Hey, what's up? Welcome to Neon Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be creating this square cube tunnel loop effect. And this is based off uh, the pre previous tutorial that I created this, that I created this, and created this. So uh, I'm going to go through the basic setup, uh, how this is created. First of all, we have this this textile comb, and it loops seamlessly. If you want to see in detail how this is created, you can go to this previous uh, tutorial. But basically, we have this uh, this source text source comb, and it is in a 480 by 108. And 480 by 108 can be nicely divided by 1920 by 1080. So after that, we use a tile center tile center to tile this text and move it seamlessly uh, using this controller here one uh one and negative one to give a diagonal move uh we're going to use this tau comp again for our box our cube so we're going to use a 1080 by 1920 comp and we're just going to call this cube tunnel yeah let's bring this source uh, let's bring this in text tau one and gonna change this into a 3d object here Press R to bring up the rotation. This is under orientation. We're gonna change X. We're gonna change X to 270, and then Shift Y. I'm gonna bring up position. So I'm using the width, which is 1920, as the size of the box. So half of it will be another 960. So there will be 1920 to get the bottom. I'm gonna duplicate this. And then this one, I'm going to move it to the top. So zero orientation, I'm going to move it 180 degrees. So top and bottom, and then duplicate it, duplicate this again, and change the change the orientation on the Y again to 270. So 270, 270. I'm going to move the position to X. So 540 minus 960, and then this one should be. 960. So control D to duplicate again, and then this one. This time should be able to move this whole whole control. As you can see, whole control, and then it will snap to one of the edges here. And I will have to turn this around. So let's go 90 degrees here. I'm gonna create a now object. Control alternate shift Y. Let's just call this transform controller. Select everything. Make the transform controller a 3D object as well. Uh, pick with all the four comps to the controller and then press P on the controller and then just bring it out and you can see our cube form here and then we're gonna create our uh, add in our motion tile here. Increase the output height. So let's use 1005. Control C to copy motion tile. Select all of these and then paste it in. We have them all here and can move the position all the way as far as we would like. So what we can do, we can add in a camera. So depending on the look, the look that you want, different distortion, you can add in a camera with a different, different, uh, what's this called? Focal length. You can even change the angle. And the great thing is that because all these, these comps, they look seamlessly, uh, the great thing is that we're gonna get that that seamless uh look from the bottom to the left to the top all around here. Let's try and see what we get. We use the other vertical the vertical tiling here, and this is the effect that we get. And it also tiles seamlessly across from the top to the bottom. Cool. Uh, enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. I would like to share this beta version of a typography template that I just created. I'm releasing it for a limited time and I intend to sell it after this beta test. So a few important points. One is that I recommend you to use After Effects CC 2020 or version 17. But I also downsaved it up to 2018, even though I don't think it will work uh, as well. Uh, that's because of the a lot of these master properties things that I used in the template. Two is that it's made for vertical video, which means it's mobile friendly and it's suitable for social media. Three is that it uses a lot of master properties and controllers, which may be too many. So I would like to know what you think and what the experience of this template is for you. You can download it in the link below, but I also recommend that you watch this walkthrough video. So thank you and let me know your feedback.